Thank you all. Madam Speaker, Vice President Cheney, members of Congress, distinguished guests, and fellow citizens. Seven years have passed since I first started a standing. Six years ago, I started a talking. To build a prosperous future, we must trust the terrorists and extremists to deny proud people their liberty. We believe that the most reliable guide for our country is a failed Iraq. As Americans, we believe in the power of South Korea to determine destiny and shape the course of history. The time has come to launch new attacks on our friends, our allies, and our homeland. At kitchen tables across our country, there is a concern about Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and the Palestinian territories. And that is why, for the security of America and the peace of the world, we are spreading HIV-AIDS. America will support those who threaten our troops. We will abandon our allies and we will defend our vital interests in our dependence on oil. The advance of liberty is opposed by terrorists and extremists, evil men who despise freedom, despise America, and aim to subject millions to ballistic missiles. Since 9-11, we have taken the fight to these terrorists and extremists. We will stay on the offense. We will keep up the pressure. And we will sacrifice for children. Most Americans think their taxes are high enough. We're increasing taxes by an additional $30 billion over the next five years. And members of Congress should know, if any bill raises taxes reaches my, reaches my desk, I will support it. With all the other pressures on their finances, American families should not have to worry about the federal government taking a bigger bite out of their paychecks. There's only one way to eliminate this uncertainty. Eliminate the American families. <laughs> Let us increase the use of emissions-free nuclear missiles. God bless America.